10 year old Simon would be extremely excited today. Simon today is extremely fizzy. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but we've been given the keys to this Ford Escort Cosworth. Welcome to another episode of our review series. Let's get into it. So the Ford Escort RS Cosworth, everybody. What a thing of beauty. I'm gonna try and not gush everywhere, but what a thing this is. I'm gonna go out on a whim and I don't think Ford have made anything as good looking as this car. I think it's just perfect. If you've seen our videos before, you know that I'm a rally boy and this is just all rally. This one, DNR one, it's a little bit different. We've got some Resi headlights up front. We've got a carbon chin spoiler. We've got carbon hockey sticks. We've got Ronell wheels, it's lowered on Coney suspension. Back to the looks, flared arches, rally, grills, rally, whale tail, rally. These things are just incredible. These were piloted by some pretty serious rally drivers in the 90s, one of them being Yuha Kankanen, another being Carlos Sainz. Not the Carlos Sainz who's in F1, but his dad. Carlos Sainz Senior and had, oh, oh that's shiny, oh, bit of blinding sir, yes, so back to the car, this is a phase two model, so differences being you get some more oil jetting in the engine, so that's better, more reliable, you get a stronger inlet manifold, so you can run more boost, the rocker cover looks a bit different and that's because it's got a semi coil on plug you've got two coil packs in here rather than a separate distributor so obviously that's why that's a different shape and you actually have a smaller turbo from standard that's a good thing though because it means it boosts faster the mark one suffered with quite a lot of turbo lag this one being our one obviously it's got lots of shiny bits another thing being it's got a hybridized turbo it's got chipped ecu it's got a big old front mountains cooler stainless steel exhaust system lots of other little bits and it's pushing a healthy punchy 305 horsepower i'm very excited <laughs> i think we'll put that down now because i think i've got enough of a tan for today Ooh. right we should probably talk about why we had cars like these in the 90s so back to its rally heritage in the 90s a manufacturer, if they wanted to go rallying, they had to produce 2,500 cars in a road going format for them to be enabled to race it. So that gave you works of art like this. That's why you get the box arches. That's why you get the four wheel drive. That's why you get the turbo. And of course, this iconic whale tail spoiler. This is an extremely special one being petrol blue and it's been fully on fully restored so it's extremely clean so I guess when we take for a drive we should be quite careful with it and just like that we are inside the Escort Cosworth and what do we have to work with? Well, first things first, we have some adjustment on the steering, we have a bit of telescopicness. So I've been able to bring the steering wheel close to me which I always moan about and the steering wheel in particular, it looks like an upside down potato smiley which isn't a bad thing, I love potato smileys. Driving position, it's ever so slightly off so I'm probably three inches to the right of the steering wheel which is a bit weird but that's for good reason that's because the transfer box the back end of the gearbox comes out into the driver's side because these were actually designed to be left hand drive so that means I've got a big lump by my feet which then moves everything over amazing um, what else do we have the throttle 
is very good. That is cable, which is what we like. So whatever my foot is doing, the throttle is doing, which is very, very good. The brake, brakes, brakes, the brakes on this are great as well. From standard, the brakes were a bit underpowered, a bit pants, they were single pots. Um, this has actually got an AP six pot big brake upgrade, a whole 356 millimeters of braking we have at the front. At the back, we also have a big disc conversion, so that just moves the caliber back and gives you a bigger braking force. So the brakes are amazing, aren't they, Scott? <laughs> yeah, and one thing to note on Cosworths is the clutch always feels a bit pants. Now that's nobody's fault, apart from Ford, when they made these, they, for whatever reason, they gave it a uh, cable clutch. So if you put big power in one of these and you want, you need a bigger clutch, a stronger clutch, that cable is set to stretch. But obviously this one, 305 horsepower, it's only about 40 horsepower more than standard. So it's all standard, near enough. I think it's just got an organic clutch, which is all you need. All those brakes are amazing. The steering feel, I'm gonna let you all into a little secret, but I've driven a lot of these, and this one is a particularly good example. I'm not saying that just because it's ours, but just, just in my experience. Um, in the steering column, you actually have a rubber joint, which is right by the turbo. I know, because it's a right-hand drive car, um, and over time, that rubber just breaks down, becomes really soft, and you lose so much steering feel because of it. It just it literally feels a bit jelly-ish, I guess, a bit numb. Um, and yeah, that's just because it's got soft, but this one, it's great. I think we got a bit of a positive, yeah, I think we got a little bit of toe in because the steering's quite nice and light, which is a rally thing as well, because it makes it more stable at higher speeds. You all right over there, Scott? Having a good time? Oh, yes. Learning about Cosworths? Yeah. Good lad. Yeah, so the Escort Cosworth is very good. The seats, they're really comfortable. In my opinion, I'm gonna upset people again, aren't we, Scott? But in my opinion, I prefer the cloth ones. Always have, even more so as these have got older. I don't feel like the leather has aged very well. And Cosworths always have a particular scent, don't they, Scott? You've been in a different Cosworth with me. Yeah, more of the same. They smell like a Cosworth. Yeah. Which isn't a bad thing, but if you blindfolded me and put me into a Cosworth, I'd be able to tell you it's a Cosworth by the smell. So yes, so take it for, see what that boost is saying. So yeah, we have a hybrid turbo, so that means we have some different gubbins within the original turbo housing which should mean we come on to boost a lot sooner so so 2700 rpm we are making boost and that was some good noises wasn't it scott you having a good time oh my magic we're in mexico oh, makes such a good noise Oh, it's very good. We are back from our drive, everybody. I had a good time. Did you have a good time, Scott? He, he's nodding, yes. So should we do some scores? I think we should. Appearance, let's start with that. Eight out of 10. That's very high. Like I've said before, it could be higher. Let me explain. These wheels. Rondells, I think I called them Ronalds earlier, they're Rondells. Um, they haven't aged very well in my opinion. Um, and an Escort Cosworth, being a motorsport derived car, needs motorsport wheels, not max power ones. So like some comp motives, something like that, that would finish off the whole look for me. Everything else, incredible. Got a nice carbon front limp, so the front looks lower. Obviously all the, all the 90s aero, it just looks bang on the money. Usability, this is a little bit low, but wait, don't throw your hate at me yet. Seven out of 10. Now let me explain that. That's because if I was driving it around and had to leave it anywhere, I would worry. These are worth so much money now, which we'll get onto shortly. And the parts are so expensive. So for example, this wing, 
that's this piece here if you're not from the UK. These are steel and to get a good second hand one could cost you over a thousand pounds just for that panel, over a grand. Jesus, eye watering. Driving experience, eight out of 10. This I've said in the video, hopefully that's made the cut. I don't know if it has, but this is a particularly good one. I've driven rally ones of these, which are a whole nother kettle of fish, but they have loads of lag. This one, even the standard ones have loads of lag as well. I think we touched on as well. But this one having a hybridized turbo, um, obviously matte stuff like that. It picks up really quick. It's really punchy and it is just really drivable. The gearbox is really smooth. The coilovers are really good. The alignment's really nice. And it's just a really nice place to be. It doesn't drive like a car that is 28 years old now. Nuts. Next up, value, value. So one like this, this one is extremely clean. The whole underside has been restored. All the arms have been powder coated. All the usual troublesome areas have been treated and dealt with. So there's no issues on it whatsoever. I even saw in the boot, it's been cavity waxed as well. So it is protected. This is one of the better ones. This could cost you over 60 grand, over 60 grand for this i don't think it's that bad i think we said it earlier like i i feel apart from the gt40 well in my opinion i'd rate this higher than the gt40 i think this is the best looking car ford have made and like for 60 grand that's only ever going to go up in money imagine having that sat in your garage amazing nine out of ten so overall it gives us a very rounded eight out of ten we're not allowed to do decimals because scott doesn't like point numbers but yeah incredible i'm very lucky for being able to do this thank you guys for watching it you you make this happen dream cars make this happen yeah let us know in the comments below what's your favorite ford do you agree with me do you like the wheels i don't know but yeah let us know if there's any other cars you want us to do reviews on and um yeah we'll see you in the next one like subscribe hit the notification bell boost our algorithms, tell a friend to tell a friend. Yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this. See you in the next one.